from inside Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And, and we'll now, be back with the first pitch right after this. 2023 Tampa Bay Rays. Ready to go. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. Now he steps out of the box as he asks for time. This to center field. Puts it away for the out. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Swung on, belted. Siri going back, back some more, still going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield, got to the spot, turned around and made a nice catch. That one ripped. That's back. And out of here. Glaber Torres goes yard. And the Yankees have the lead. It's 1-0. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there. And that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. To the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. Good contact guy, good defender. One ball. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. And the home team down a run. Welcome back. And today on the Hill, Clark Schmidt. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Hits the fence. All over that one right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. And it's even up. And a good eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. That one off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that is a big first out. And now it's Brandon Lau. But you want. Good eye right there. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. That's out to center field. Judge makes the grab for the second out. So first and second with two outs. Harold Ramirez at the dish. There's a strike. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find... Oh, and now a wild pitch. Throw on to Rizzo. That ends the inning. Two left on. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Number 99, Aaron Judge. And a pitch. On the ground to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a play, and he reaches safely. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit.
puts it in the air out towards left center. And they take care of Donaldson for the out. One down. Batting seven. The left field Here's field Aaron field Hicks. A switch Hicks. hitter batting Hicks. right. The 1 1. In the air, right field. Margot pulls it down, and there's two gone. Here's Jose Trevino. The catcher, number 39. Judge Jose off of first with two away. Trevino. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Siri right there to make the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for the Yankees, but they're on top, 1-0. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Manuel Marco. Marco. The 1-1. One -one. Started to swing, held up. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Nobody out, runner at first. And a swing and a miss, and one away. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Margot runs, pitch inside. The throw, tag, and he's out. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. Jack swing, went around, and that is strike two. And there's a the ball. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Runner at first with two away. Now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. They get the force. That's out number three. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. We head on now to the top of the third. Yankees won. The Rays nothing. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Lifted in the air, right field. Margot brings it in, one away. And now Anthony Volpe flied out his first time. One down, base is empty. Out towards right center field. Margot settles under it. And it's caught for the out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So two down, Glaber Torres up to hit. He's already homered in this game. Next pitch has popped up. Lau makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Yanks leave one, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Back now in Tampa Bay. Now here is Yandy Diaz. Next pitch yep, inside. inside. Ball two. Ball two. 
That one ripped. And a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And hard the order coming up, right? Fires to second for one. On to first. Ow, double play. Just got it there in time. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Oh, well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at Tropicana Field, new game. inning getting started. So now it's going to be DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. Liner caught it second. Now that it's Aaron Judge now. Aaron. Reached on an infield Judge. single his first time. Two and one on Judge. That one hammered but pulled foul. Judge rips that one. This looks like extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously? We're starting with this already. And one and two. One ball, two straight. Runner at second here, one gone. Now this one, hard hit, left field by Donaldson, and deep. That one is gone. Josh Donaldson leaves the yard, and they add a pair. It's 3-0. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Hey. And it's filled up. This has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks. Hard hit, but right at him in left. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. And here it comes. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. He's 0 for 1. Hit hard, base hit. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. Everything came together for him. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. And that'll do it. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. So now one and two. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Well struck right field, and that one is out of here. 
Brandon Lau pops one out of here. And they cut into the deficit. It's 3-1. Well, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And now Harold Ramirez. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. On the ground to the left. Donaldson tosses the first in time. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Manuel Margot up to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. And a foul ball. One two to Margot. Left field way back there. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. Isaac Paredes now. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's off the plate. And that's through there for a strike. If you're not ready for that pitch, you're just going to swing and miss or pop it up, waste the at-bat. If you're going to let it go, you better be ready to swing it. That one to first. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Rays with a solo shot to trim the lead. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're what? Ready now for the fifth Lead inning. The Anthony game. Rizzo steps the to the plate. Season. Anthony Rizzo. Here comes a pitch. That's hard hit on the line. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And that one lifted in the air center field. Siri pulls it in, and there's two away. Now batting the designated hitter. DJ two outs, base is empty. LeMahieu. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. And the pitch. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. One, two, three, go the Yankees. And the score stays three to one. And welcome back. We and head to the bottom of the fifth. The and now the catcher for the Rays, Christian, Christian. Bethencourt. Bethencourt. Two and one now. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Well, these Rays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. And now it's Jose Siri. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle, Volpe. On the run, sends it over to first. Two up, two down. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch two. right there. Got inside Yandy. on him and got him to bounce into that out. Yandy Diaz now. Good plate oh, appearance there. Ball. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Met at first. Now batting Wander Franco. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall. And stepping in for the Rays, Randy Arozarena, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That clips a corner. Diaz at third, Franco at second with two gone. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That one just misses, and that's ball three. Brandon Lau would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Two on, two outs.
Trevino makes the catch, and that is that. So the Rays strand a pair, and it remains. Back here at the ballpark, top six. Here's the center fielder, Aaron Judge. Next offering is in for a strike. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Colin Poche warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Thompson, the right-hander, also getting loose. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Aaron Judge leaves the yard, and they add on. It's 4-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, number 58. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Josh Donaldson. He's already homered here in this one. And that one ripped to left. A Rosarena hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. That smash towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now batter, the catcher, Jose Trevino. And up next for New York, Jose Trevino. One for two. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him. And that is that. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's back now in Tampa Bay. Here we, we go bottom six. Rick. Lau at the, the plate. Left hand hitter waits. That one missed. And misses inside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Fouls one away, and now three and two. The wind and the pitch. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is gone! His second home run of the game, and they inch closer. It's 4-2. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Cabrera pulls it in for the out. And there's one away. Here's Manuel Margot. Darren Boone makes his way out. New pitcher for the Yankees, Michael King. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's a 1-1. And now one and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Snags it for the second out. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Isaac Paredes. And a count one and two. pitch Cabrera has this one sized up and that will end the inning but not before they answer back with a solo home run it's now 4-2
Ryan Thompson gets the call from the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. 1-1 one, one now. Into center. Siri pulls it in, and there's one away. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air, and it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. He's going, Runner he's going, on the goal. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the catch for the out. Here comes Glaber Torres. One for three. Swing and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now batting the designated hitter. Mansingy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. He's got it, and that ends the inning. Yank strand a pair as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Back here at Tropicana Field, and now the catcher comes up to him. Christian Bethencourt. Ball to strike, the pitch. And that's outside. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Just kept it simple, played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And there's one down. The first baseman, number two, Yandy. Diaz. Back to the top of the lineup. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. Runner on the goal. Towards first. Into the outfield. Base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far... Hit slowly on the ground. Rizzo to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. So no runs on two hits. We're at the top of the eighth. And now the center fielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. The 2-1. Rips that one center field. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at now the plate batting. for him. He the looks locked baseball. in. Absolutely yeah. hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Next to hit. Out to center. And puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Now here's Aaron now Hicks. The left fielder, Aaron Hicks. And a ball and two strikes. And that one hammered. Siri raging back towards the wall. Looking up. Banks off the wall.
Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over. Fly ball down the line. He's there. He's got it. Both runners tagging. Lay it home. He's safe. And they're up by three. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. In the air, out towards right center. And that is that. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Digging in, Randy or Rosarina. And the pitch. Three. Got him looking. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. And that's going to get into the corner. Picks. Throws to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. At the belt and fires. That one the other way. And he'll play it on a bounce. Ramirez coming home. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Next one misses. And now three and one. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Marco leads off first with two down to the inning. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Battling here as he fouls it away. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 5-3. Ladies Staying in the game on defense, right. Josh Lowe. He'll play He's third after coming play. into the game as a pinch hitter. Pitching change game. here. Number 15, Josh Lowe. Next offering is in for a strike. Out towards right center field. He dives but can't hang on. That's a base hit. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Now the number two hitter, Anthony Rizzo. Here's a 1-1. Runner takes off. Center field. Siri puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Glaber Torres up to the plate. The 3-1. And that drops in for a strike. One out and a runner at second.
That one ripped right center field. Margot going back on this one. Racing back some more. And it's off the top of the wall. He pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Line drive, base hit. Torres around third. He will score. It's 7-3. to three. Back to back base hits. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Aaron Judge at the plate. Now that's smacked to right center. Siri makes the grab. Two down. Wow, he looked like he was running before the ball was hit. Didn't have much time as that was a hard hit liner, but a nice job of covering a lot of ground in a short amount of time. Yeah, the right hater deals. This one in the air center field. Squeezes it, and that's the inning. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. 8 9 1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the. Bottom nine, here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Jonathan Loisica. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now two and one. Sing you some Jonathan Loisega nuggets. He hails from Nicaragua. It's not a place that's produced a lot of big leaguers. Marvin Bernard, Dennis Martinez among the few. And that should be extra bases. Throws to second. In there safely. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. Yeah, and he's quietly become a cog in the Yankees' bullpen. Good, firm velocity. A guy that's very consistent with his mechanics repeating that delivery. Into center and a base hit. Bethencourt around third. Here's the throw to the plate, and he's in there, and a run comes in to score. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. The 1-1. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Judge ranging back, back some more to the warning track, makes the catch. His defense is better than a lot of people think. He's a big guy, but very athletic, moves well, and that was. Clay Holmes comes out trying to close it out. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the. Torres, toss to second, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. Now the left fielder, Randy Arena. In the air, out to center, and it drops in. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrel. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything, some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.